This is the LG WT7600HWA. It also comes in the trim WT7600HKA, which is the black version of the same washer. For those of you new to my channel, I basically buy these washers and do my own laundry in them. I do a couple of scientific tests, but I wouldn't even call them scientific. If you're looking for some really exact scientific results, this channel is not the one for you. I just wash my clothes and give you my opinion. This washer was kind of an enigmatic machine. I had some good results on some things and some terrible results on others. With my regular laundry, it did a pretty darn good job. I had no troubles getting any dirt or stains off my clothes, and it seemed to do a very solid job rinsing. But that's kind of where the good news stops. Let's go over some specs. This LG washer boasts a 5.2 cubic foot tub, which is pretty darn large. I could not find any laundry situation where I was able to fill up that tub. This washer does have 14 wash programs along with 14 different options to modify said wash programs. This washer is auto load sensing so it does figure out the water level on your behalf. I was really disappointed to find out that this washer only had a 950 RPM spin speed which is really slow compared to most LGs which spin at around 1300 RPMs. The washer weighs about 146 pounds which is about average for these high efficiency top load washers but comes in at a whopping $1050 which is really expensive. Let's go over some pros about this machine. The first pro, although I don't think it's a pro, is that it does have a very large capacity. You can put a lot of laundry in one go with this machine and get it done. Another thing that I really liked about this machine is with my laundry, it did a very good job rinsing. Now I put a star next to this because on the bulky items it did a very terrible job rinsing. But on my clothes, on my day-to-day -day work clothes, it seemed to do a very good job with washing and rinsing. It also has a very vigorous wash action. As long as you press the turbo wash feature, this thing will really move the clothes around. It's kind of a surprise how well it's able to turn over a load. The washer is also very efficient. By default, most HE washers are, so it's not really like a super special thing with this washer. One thing that I really liked about this washer, but I actually, it's not about the washer so much as it's the dryer. The dryer opens up both ways, which is pretty awesome. The hamper style door makes for easy loading from the washer to the dryer. And then the swing door action makes it very easy to unload your clothes when it's done drying. It also has an internal water heater, which is also a pretty good feature for this machine. One thing this washer really struggled on was my ketchup test. This washer actually did a pretty poor job of removing ketchup stains from my towels. It was probably on the lower end of my grading scale. The wash action seemed very nice when it was washing, but if you look at it in fast forward, you'll notice that there wasn't a ton of turnover. It was like it couldn't turn over the towels, but it does a fantastic job turning over regular clothes. Such a weird machine, I could never really get a full grip on this washer. Let's go over some of the things that I don't like about this washer. As with most top load high efficiency washers, the cycles are pretty long. You can pick the turbo wash and the quick wash, but I would question the effectiveness of the wash. For this washer to do a really good job, it needs time. And if you're in a rush to do your laundry, you might want to reconsider getting any high efficiency top load washer, not specifically this one. One thing that is very specific to this washer was that it had a very poor stain removal. I couldn't wrap my head around why it didn't do such a good job. By looking at it, you would have thought it did a fantastic job, but my towel did not come clean on my ketchup test. Another thing that I don't care for about this washer is the price tag. It's very expensive. There are a lot other washers, namely LGs, that are less expensive 
than this machine and are actually a little bit more effective. Also, this washer just cannot wash a bulky comforter. It failed so miserably on my queen comforter test. I would argue that it was one of the worst performing top loaders on my comforter test. This washer is such a weird washer because I've already sold some of these to some of my customers and they rant and rave about it. They think it's the best thing ever. And I trust my customer's opinion because these were some very picky customers that were happy to be, you know, kind of like my guinea pigs with these washers. I kind of understand why they like this washer so much. I had fantastic results when I was washing my regular clothes. It was when I really kind of pushed it to its limits that it started to fall flat on its face. It could not get the ketchup stain clean and it could not wash a queen size comforter. Yet somehow it was able to wash 12 humongous bath towels. I just can't wrap my head around this machine. It's so weird. Anyways, I don't know if this is going to be the washer that I'm going to sell to my customers moving forward. I'm going to try a couple other HE top load washers and see if there's anything better out there. Thanks for watching.